right, here are all the garage sale items I picked up from the Maple Valley garage sales and some from the Lake Taps area. Um, I did get one from the Kent area. That's because I was driving from Kent to Maple Valley. But let's start up here. So this is the first lot I picked up at Maple Valley. And there's several games here. Actually, the guy that was running the garage sale, he had all these DS games in a case, so they were all loose. And once I started naming off some systems and asked him if he had any of these systems or games for those systems, once I mentioned Wii, he said he had some. And when he came back, he actually came with all the cases. So now, all the games are cased, well, except for this. This is a Big League Sports Summer. That one didn't have the cover art, but it did come with the manual and the game. So starting up here, we have Jewel Master Egypt, Ben 10, Alien Force, Namco Museum, My Sims Agents, we have Rubik's World, Lego Indiana Jones, Speed Racer, Super Mario Galaxy 1, Super Mario Galaxy 2, so that's pretty awesome. Then we got Lego Indiana Jones 2, My Sims Kingdom, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I was excited to see that along with New Super Mario Bros. So those are probably the two best for the DS lot. Um, and then we got Night at the Museum. We also have Lego Indiana Jones for the Wii, Indianapolis 500 Legends, Toy Story Mania, Toy Story 3, and Mario Kart. So all this, he wanted 25 bucks for it including the DS. He said the DS works, he played it, and it, it worked last time he used it, but it didn't have a charger, so we couldn't really test it out. I didn't want to haggle, I mean $25 is a really good deal for this, um, so I, I didn't even try to haggle, I just wanted to move on to the next sale. So I proceeded, and I found some Legos. So here, they were marked like Super, super cheap. I mean, this Lego Star Wars set, $2. It comes with a box. All the minifigures are there, too. Then we got this. I think this one was $2 as well. Um, I don't see the price sticker on it, but it comes with two minifigures. And then this one was a dollar for this uh, police car and a couple minifigs. And then the DC Universe Super Heroes Lego set here. We got Batman, uh, Joker, and a helicopter. A few minifigs in here. I mean, it was two bucks, or no, three bucks for this. Crazy. Then they had some loose sets without the the box. This is like a fire rescue set. I think there's one or two minifigs and minifigs in here. There's one. So that was two bucks. This was pretty awesome. I don't know why they had it marked at a dollar. But this is the Avengers set. I mean, got a few vehicles here. Um, some miscellaneous pieces. Uh, we got Thor and a few more um, minifigs. I mean, that's a great deal for a dollar. Had another garage sale. I found a bunch of N64 titles, including a complete inbox minty N64 system and a sealed controller but they wanted a ton of money for it. I came out with just these two titles because they were priced all right. This was a uh, $30 game that they priced it at. This is the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask with the lenticular label. Um, you can kind of see it there. I did not pay $30 for this. Um, this was $12 marked, but it's a not for resale game. So I don't think they knew that. Um, there's even this big huge sticker in the back um, and behind this white sticker there's a not for resale sign so I asked if I could get both of these for 30 she wouldn't budge but then I said how about 35 and she said okay so 35 for these two are not too bad especially since this is a not for resale game but they really looked up the prices on their cartridges because there were some really expensive titles, um, basically eBay priced, and the system for $200, complete in box, but very minty. So I passed on all those, but got these two. And then, 
the next garage sale I went to, um, I found this PS Vita. So they wanted $60 for it, which is already a good price. And he was including the games. So uh, Lego Jurassic World and Mortal Kombat. But he also had some other things. He had a Game Boy Advance SP, the Fire Red. And then he had this Sega Game Gear for 10 bucks. And he said he found this in the Lost and Found and didn't really know if it worked. So that's good he mentioned that because I said, hey, uh, would you do 60 for everything? Um, basically, I'd be getting the Sega Game Gear for free, and I think they had this marked at between three to five bucks. I don't quite remember because um, it didn't have a charger. So, sixty bucks for everything here. And what's inside here? When I opened it, was I saw Sonic Drift 2. I was like, whoa, that's awesome! And then Shining Force. I was like, dang! But it didn't come with either of those two games. Um, it did come with a bunch of accessories, magnifier. Um, car adapter and AC plug and it did come with the blue game gear which is in pretty good shape I mean it even has the two uh, battery covers but it came with Sonic 2 Shinobi 2 and World Series Baseball I mean it didn't make any sense for me to ask him if there's any more games because he said he found it at um, the Lost and Found at his work so basically what happens is they keep it for like a year, and then after that, it's free game. So I guess it was there for a year, and then he took it. Okay, the next garage sale I went to, I found just a bunch of PS2 and Xbox 360 games. So they had the 360 games marked at $2 each, and the PlayStation games marked at $1. Um, there was a GameCube game, but they thought it was a PS2, so I got it for a dollar. And this happens to be the best game of the bunch. Got The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, Castlevania, Silent Hill 2, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, Samurai Warriors, Bujingai, The Forsaken City. I've never seen this game before. Um, it's a Taito game. Huh. This, I might have to give this a shot here. Um, so I've never seen that. Elder Scrolls uh, 5 Skyrim. We got uh, Sonic's Ultimate uh, Genesis Collection. XCOM. Laura Croft Tomb Raider. So, all those really cheap. I mean, between $1 to $2 each. Um, I had to pick up the 360 games, even though they were um, two bucks, but I still think that's a good deal. Then, the next garage sale I went to, I know, actually, this was in Kent. So this was on the way to Maple Valley. Um, I stopped by a neighborhood. There was only like one or two garage sales there. Um, it was supposed to be a neighborhood garage sale, but there was only, man, two at the most that, that I saw, um, which sucked because that kind of wasted my time. But luckily I found um, some cool items. So we got the Pikachu pillow, the 10th anniversary uh, Pikachu with the Pokeball. Then we got a Togepi, so they marked that for uh, $1 and $2 and $2, so 5 bucks for that. Then we got the games. So the loose games were $1 and the case games were 2 So we have, let me see if I can grab these. SpongeBob's Atlantis, uh, SpongeBob's Atlantis SquarePants. Hmm, okay. Then we got... Disney Princess Magical Jewels, Adventure Time, Cars, Lego Game, and another Lego Game. Alright. Then we got some Lucy's. We got Pokemon Fire Red, Jackie Chan Adventures, Turbo Turtle, Shark Tale, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Metroid Prime Hunters, Lego Star Wars 3, and probably the best DS game out of the bunch, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Miniland Mayhem. And then he also had Lego Batman 3 for $2. At another garage sale, they didn't have any video games, any electronics, but they had some cool toys. This is a Jurassic Park, there's a JP, hand puppet. 
and it does make noise. Let's see if it has batteries still. Pretty cool. That was a buck, and Michelangelo here was a quarter. Always pick up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles whenever I see them for cheap. Okay, moving on. Some Wii stuff. One garage sale had these marked at $3 each. Um, I decided to just pick them all up and I asked if they would take 15 for everything. So it would be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, but I got all of it for 15. Metroid, Other M, Hot Wheels Track Attack, Mario Kart Wii, World War II Aces, Epic Mickey 2, and Wii Sports. So these will likely just be trade bait. Okay, another garage sale. This one was better. They had some good titles here, but everything was five bucks a title compared to the last one, which was three bucks a title. But at least these were better games. So we got New Super Mario Brothers 2, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, Kid Icarus Uprising, Mario Sports Mix, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. This for five bucks is a fantastic deal. And another Mario Kart. And they also had these two games. I asked if I could get these for two dollars each because they weren't, you know, as popular as these titles, and they agreed. So we got ESPN Sports Connection and Family Party 30 Great Games. So I asked if they had any other Wii U titles or any other Nintendo stuff, and they said they're actually going to keep the rest. Um, they're keeping their Wii U and the good games for the Wii U. Okay, at another garage sale, oh, this was pretty surprising. So the lady that was selling this, she was a grandma, and she was a gamer. Um, she said she had a bunch of Zelda and Mario games, and she was talking to me for quite a bit. She was talking about... Um, how video games help her with hand-eye coordination and things like that. Um, so she had everything for a dollar. This was actually um, her grandson's, but it's a sealed uh, Dragon Ball Season 1. Uh, that was a dollar, so that's good. And this is a sealed ski and shoot, uh, compatible with the Wii Balance Board, a dollar. And the rest of these were a buck each. Disney's Chicken Little, Doom 3, Simpsons Road Rage, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, Air Force Delta Storm, and Metal Gear Solid 2. I did leave her my number just in case she decided to sell the Marios and Zeldas and other cool games for Nintendo. She said that she'd give me a call if she decides to. Okay, the last garage sale. I picked this nice little lot up here. So they wanted $10 for everything um, that was for the GameCube bundle. And then they wanted $2 each for these cartridge games. Um, it's just random games, too. You got Monster Truck, Madness 64, Earth Defense Force, and Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. So that was $2 each. Didn't mind paying that. And I didn't even haggle with this because it was $10 for everything. And apparently they thought... This Star Wars game was a GameCube title because it was just mixed in the bundle. This is Star Wars Battlefront 2, the PC game. But we got NBA Street Volume 3, Star Wars Rogue Leader. Then we got um, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. So this is a disc only here. Then we got The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, The Haunted Mansion, PK Out of the Shadows, Pikmin, good title, Mario Power Tennis, and another Lord of the Rings. This one's The Return of the King. Oh, I didn't check in here. Okay, no game. So 10 bucks for that lot, and the GameCube's in decent shape. The only bad thing is the controller, um, I'll have to replace that thumbstick. Um, but other than that, that's pretty good. So... That was a pretty successful trip to Maple Valley, Lake Taps, um, got a lot of cool stuff. So comment down below if you guys found anything good this week, let me know. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video, thanks.